Hi, in this video, we're going to be solving systems of equations by substitution. This method is best used when one variable is isolated or is easily isolated, that means by itself. We have some steps here in the middle that we're going to be reviewing as we go through the example problems. We're going to start with the first example. In this example, we have y equals two, negative two x minus nine, and then we have six x minus five y equals negative 19. We're trying to solve this system of equations. Notice that the y is already isolated. That's our first step, isolate a variable. If it's not isolated, we need to isolate it. Since it already is, we're going, to, we're going to figure out what this chunk is and we're going to substitute it in. So this chunk is what is equivalent to the given variable. So y is equal to this, this box, this chunk, and we're going to take that. We're going to substitute that, that piece in for the, into the other equation and we're going to do it for y. So just make sure we substitute it in for y. So if I rewrite my equation, it's five times y I'm just going to take that negative 2x minus 9, and I'm going to substitute it in. Now I have one equation and one variable, and I can solve this equation. I'm just going to solve that really quick. I'm going to distribute the negative 5. I'm going to combine and condense over here, so 16x. And then I'm going to work everything back uh, to one side that does not have an x and everything that has the x to one side. So 16x is going to stay. I'm going to subtract 45. I'm going to have negative 64 is equal to 16x. Divide both sides by 16. And x is negative 4. That is only part of our solution. Remember, a solution to this, if it has one solution, which we're on the track to, it, this is the x-coordinate of the solution. Right, so we solved that equation to find the first variable. Now we're going to substitute that back into the original equation to find the other variable. So choose which one of the original equations. I'm going to choose the first one. And, and instead of x, I'm going to substitute negative 4 in. If I simplify this right-hand side down, I get y is equal to negative 1. When we would graph these two lines, the point of intersection, the shared point, is negative 4, 1. That is when it has one solution, two lines intersecting at a certain point. That will happen uh, quite often. However, there's another situation that can happen, and we're going to talk to that, and that will come up in our example 2. So as we look at example 2, we can see that we have 2x minus 4y equals 8, and we have x minus 2y equals 4. Now, these are not, uh, there's not an isolated variable. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to isolate a variable. So when I look at these, I have 2x, I have negative 4y, I have x, and I have negative 2y. The x here is the easiest to simplify. So I'm just going to take this equation and I'm going to solve it for x. So I'm going to add 2y to both sides. And I have x equals 4 plus 2 y. That is my second equation now just represented a little bit differently. This is my original first equation. These are the two equations that I'm working with. So I put a star next to them to indicate that. Now if you remember, now that we have a variable solved by itself, it's isolated, we can take that, that chunk, that piece that is equivalent to that variable and substitute it into our other equation, our other equation being 2x minus 4y equals 8. And instead of x, I'm going to substitute this whole chunk in, this whole piece. So 2 times x minus 4y is equal to 8. I'm going to follow the same process. I'm going to simplify it down. So I'm going to solve that equation to find the first variable, still following the same process. Something happens in this equation, though, that when we solve it out, this, we combine this 4y and this negative 4y, and we get 0. So this piece becomes 0, and we're left with 8. So our variables canceled out. So we're not going to get just one solution. 
right? We're going to have a different type of solution. So we have eight equals eight. And now we, we identify this as a special kind of solution. If it is something that is true that will always be true, then like eight equaling eight, then what that tells us is these two equations were actually the exact same equation and it is gonna be infinitely many solutions. If we got something that's false, if we followed the same process and we got something that's false, the variables canceled out and we're left with like negative one equals eight. Negative one will never equal eight. That would tell you no solution. That would tell you there's no two numbers that would work. It would also tell you that these lines are parallel. They have no shared points. So we would say no solution. for that one. Infinitely many for the example that we did. Thanks for watching. Tune in next.